Hello, everyone. We are back in the microchip technology booth at CES 2020 in a very, very busy booth, as you can see behind me. We're, we're still standing in the smart home showcase here. Now, we've talked about several of the technologies that enable the smart home. We've given you an overview. If you've missed those, go back, check the last live stream we did up your timeline at Facebook, uh, or we've probably posted this on, on YouTube by now. So just check your, your platform of choice so you can see my smiling face. But right now, we're going to dig into the brains, the backbone of the connected home infrastructure. It's called POE, or Power Over Ethernet. Now, we talked about it a little bit earlier with Ashish. We have an expert in Power Over Ethernet, Galit Mendelson, here with me today. How are you? Hi, hi, Wayne. I'm good, thanks. Awesome. So we're going to talk about the smart home and how POE enables the smart home. Now. From my understanding, Power Over Ethernet, I did some research, people, just a little bit of research. Power Over Ethernet's been around for a couple of decades now? Yes, 22 years to be accurate. Ah, very cool, very cool. So it's, you know, it's a fairly evolved technology, but what I wanted to ask you is what has changed lately uh, that has enabled, you know, the, the proliferation of POE in applications like this? Okay, so... Uh I think the main change is, uh, first of all, that until today PoE was mainly implemented in the enterprise place, and now we see PoE installed in uh, houses, in homes, mm. and this is one new change. The second one is basically the levels of power. There was a new standard ratified last year, and we are basically uh, capable of delivering up to 90 watts on wow. one Ethernet cable, so wow. it opens a wide range of new, more new applications. So two elements to the change, let's say. Okay. Wow, wow. And, uh, you know, just kind of looking at the, the backbone of our smart connected uh, home up here is the POE switch. It's actually a microchip product, correct? Yes, it is. Yes. And it's mounted in the rafters. That, 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 that's something that you don't see very often for networking equipment, especially networking equipment that provides power. Is this a typical place, a typical location that we see going forward? You know, it's not a typical one. Typically, those switches are installed in a com communication room. Uh, this one specifically can be uh, installed in either a communication room or in the ceiling, usually on the floating ceiling, decorative one, so that you will not see it like you see it here. Um, so this is a new thing because it allows us basically uh, to install it uh, next to the devices to shorten the lines between the switch and the uh, devices. and. Uh, and you can cascade it one to another, so you can basically uh, uh, extend the reach of the installation to, uh, to different rooms. Uh, this specific switch uh, was designed to sit in a ceiling. Mm. It has no ventilation. It's a very efficient product, uh, and it's plenum rated, so it is designed to be installed in, wow. the, in the ceiling. It has no noise. It has no ventilator, ventilator inside, so this is a new, let's say, advantage compared to the typical POE switches in the market. Wow. Now, I think that's a game changer, folks, uh, because you don't actually have to have a server closet in your home to take advantage of the technology that we're talking about here. Now, one of the things that you also mentioned is new applications and new things that would basically kind of spring out of the POE being adapted into the home. Now, you talked to me about a few of them a little earlier, so can you share with our audience some of the things that you were discussing? So if until today PoE was mainly used to power I iPhone, IP phones, the wireless and access points, and the IP cameras, mm. now we see new applications that can uh, be connected to a switch, uh, a PoE switch, and uh, we can see lights, LEDs, uh, that can, con can be connected. These are IP-based uh, network uh, LEDs. Uh, we have uh, HVAC controllers. We have blinds that can be connected and um, wireless uh, gateways. So basically new set of applications that are mainly installed in homes uh, can be added to the network and uh, controlled using the PoE switch. Okay. Now Galit, I think you're holding back for me just a little bit here, because I see a demo on the table. We talked about it. It is really, really cool, at least as far as I'm concerned, because like I always lose my power bricks and whatnot from, uh, from my, my laptops. But tell me about this. Okay, this is a new product that we're very soon going to uh, introduce to the market. It's uh, basically a, a PoE to USB-C adapter. 
Uh, it allows us to uh, basically power um, devices like this laptop here in the demo uh, using the USB uh, connector. So the, l the connection is uh, basically done with one cable. You don't need your pure power adapter. The, the same cable is used for the data and the power uh, uh, transmission. So it powers from the USB. So that's a cool thing. That is very cool. Uh, now, for you out there that are still kind of on the fence about, you know, implementing POE into your house, because I, all of us, you, we're engineers, this is cool. We want to do that. We got security cameras. We want to get some lighting, yada, yada, yada. Um, let's recap the benefits, Galit, about in, in implementing POE in such an application. So the main benefits of POE is basically the simplicity of installation. Ah. So you have one cable, which is typically a network uh, Ethernet cable, Cat5, 6 cable that uh, anyone can install. And there is no need for any power uh, outlet. So uh, you can install basically the lights uh, without any connection to the power. The same cable is being used for data and power Very together. Cool. So it simplifies everything. That's one, uh, one benefit. Another one is the basically usage of different applications uh, to control the entire network. So from your uh, phone, you can control the, the devices. You can turn them on. You can turn them off. Power becomes another parameter that you can basically ah. control uh, remotely. So speaking of power, I would assume that you know having all my lights and my ductwork and whatnot connected directly to uh, to a network and power conglomeration, it would allow me to save power. I'm assuming that's true, is that true? Yes, it is true. If you uh, install also some, let's say, sensors, a motion sensor, for example, connected to your uh, air condition controller, so uh, you basically can gain uh, the ability to control and turn on the air condition when someone steps into the room or turn it off immediately, and everything can be done automatically. So. Uh, so uh, that's one element uh, that allows you to save uh, power using uh, POE and uh, uh, okay. smart connect connectivity. Okay, so now that I've got all of these devices that are connected and powered by basically Cat6 Ethernet cables, um, you know, one of the questions that I that I often get is, you know, is this safe? What you know, we're passing power and data over the same cable. They're not as thick and heavy as as your typical you know mains cables uh, you know how, how do we address that okay so the standard the poe standard there is a standard for that defines how which level of voltage and uh, and current can be delivered on those cables that's one uh, element of it so we are talking about uh, below 60 volt dc uh, which is uh, safe for for the cable but in addition to that the standard also have some short circuit uh, protection and the uh, over voltage protection so in case of uh, short circuit for example the line will be shut down automatically mm. and there will be no power on the line so it allows you basically to have a safer installation wow okay that's much much better very cool um, you know this sounds like a silly question kind of you know uh, to wrap up our discussion but why not Wi-Fi that's a good question uh, why not Wi-Fi so uh, it can be installed uh, using Wi-Fi for example uh, LEDs but then you need the local battery for mm. each one of those devices you have to maintain it you have to replace it uh, in addition to that, you may have some coverage issues, which is a, a disadvantage, so, and also a security issue. So, um, so these are the benefits of using connection, Ethernet connectivity versus wireless uh, connectivity for, uh, for installation of these kind of devices. Okay, very cool. So I have all of my questions answered. Galit, I appreciate your time. It's been awesome talking to you. Here. Folks, you heard it here first. If you're actually in this building or one of the many buildings here at the Las Vegas uh, Convention Center, come down to South Hall S110, talk to Galit, talk to all the other experts uh, at Microchip Technology. And if you have any questions, if you're not in the building, send us an email. There are people stand or operators standing by to hear all of your questions. Uh, actually, just send us an email at uh, livestream at microchip.com. For those of you who are familiar with our live stream uh, program and platform, you all know that email address. Shoot us an email. Um, we're gonna come back a little later. We'll probably read off some of the questions, uh, get some of the experts to answer them. We're not entirely sure of the format yet because we're winging it right now. 
Okay, we're not entirely winging it, but we're doing really well. Anyway, so the, the next live stream, we're going to come in probably 45 minutes or so. Um, we're going to talk wireless because we've, we've we talked about the entire smart home. Then we went to the, the power over Ethernet technology that allowed us to uh, connect the backbone of the connected home. Then we're going to talk about the wireless technology. And we're going to start here. I'm going to tease you with a little bit of technology that's actually currently available. You're going to learn about this. So stay tuned. Come back to us. And we'll see you soon.